Tacoma Recovery Board Install Day. Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here and welcome back to the channel. And that's right, today is Toyota Tacoma Discovery Board Install Day. Now, I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm not leaving them there. That would provide for a heck of a blind spot, right? And I know you guys don't like blind spots. So I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm gonna show you where and how I'm gonna go ahead and install these and then my idea for securing them from those prying hands. Okay, first things first. While I do like this uh, orange uh, little rope, nylon cord, tab, whatever you want to call it on here, it's got to go. I'm not going to leave that. Um, I guess that's just so you can maybe tie them down, carry them around easier. I don't know. We'll throw that in the truck. Um, I will hold on to it, but I don't see any reason. Uh, to leave that on there. Plus, I think it would probably just weather, probably fade, would be my guess. I don't know. Now, I could mount them on top. You guys can see up here. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. I think I may have seen it a couple of times. Uh, maybe more towards the center with uh, the two of them put together. I don't know. But I don't think I'm going to do it that way. At least not at this point. You never know down the road. I do have a couple extra holes up there now. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount them on the sides. I'm going to put both on the same side. Um, I picked the driver's side because I think that will interfere less, uh, or least rather, with my view. Because when I look back, I can't see past the pillar here anyway, and I'm looking out this way out of the truck. So not a big deal. Uh, they do have holes in them to mount. You guys can see here, and I do have some hardware for that. And then I have a way, or at least that I'm thinking, to go ahead and secure these so they can't be stolen. All right, let me show you the hardware I've got. Uh, not quite sure if this is going to work. We'll find out. But I have a couple of lag bolts. Actually, four lag bolts. Um, I did get just a handle twist knob kind of thing to go on. Uh, I haven't really decided which side these should be on. Um, I'm thinking they should be on the outside ideally, but I don't know if there's enough room in the tread on these things to be able to to turn these uh, Unless I went with a bigger washer. We'll have to take a look at that uh, and then also uh, Just a black painted washer and I did paint both of these by the way uh, To keep everything black uh, to go on one side of the other so I think I just hit the camera there. So let's uh Let's pull this thing down and take a look. And what I'm talking about is if there was a big enough washer here uh, that would span this whole gap, uh, then I could put the screw up against that. But I don't have a long enough screw, nor do I have a big enough washer. And I don't even know if I could get a washer that big. So the question then is, uh, will this twisty thing go in there? And it doesn't. Um, it won't go down inside the groove, so this would have to be on the other side. With the light bolt, though, of course, tightening it is going to be an issue because it will turn in the hole. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sit this washer in there. And it doesn't fit uh, exactly in there, so I don't know about that. Matter of fact, I should... Uh, you guys down here and let you see what I'm talking about and I know I'm probably making this way more difficult than it needs to be but I want it done my way right so here's the hole and the washer like I said does not fit all the way down in there uh, I could sand off file off a little bit of the edge of the washer to make it go in there um, that might actually work pretty well uh, although there's probably quite a bit of sanding to make that happen, or filing I should say, unless I use something uh, electric. Uh, so that doesn't really fit in there well, so I'm going to call that kind of a fail. I'm going to take a look and see if I have another washer that fits maybe down in that hole before we carry on. May need a trip to Lowe's again. Okay, did find a washer that fits down in there, just a little smaller. Of course, they're not painted black, uh, but 
They will go inside the hole right here uh, and enable me to put a washer on there, I guess, uh, and still put the screw in. Okay, another part of this mod is trying to secure it um, from people stealing it, right? So I came up with an idea. We're going to see if it works. Uh, hopefully it will. Uh, it involved the trip to Lowe's and a padlock and some chain. Now, the chain is obviously chrome or silver in color, so we got to do something about that. I think I'm going to paint it. I don't know how that's going to come out. That's going to be very interesting to see. And then the lock, of course, is going to be to secure it uh, on the truck. All right, got my little contraption set up. I decided how I'm going to paint the chain. Uh, and I might as well do the washers. I had to get smaller washers as well. Um, I'm going to call this paint dipping because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip the chain in paint and then I'm going to hang it to dry uh, on my little hanger I made here and then let it drip dry onto this foil down here. So I've never done this before. I don't know if it's the right way to go. For all I know, the paint's going to clump up and who knows? We'll see. Uh, but it is a chain to be outside and I thought this way I can make sure I get it fully encapsulated. I may even dip it twice. Um, just to kind of protect the chain as long as I can uh, without the paint flaking off and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, you guys can see I've got some nice black paint here. And here we go. We'll see, uh, we'll see how this works. Like I say, I've never done this before, and I'm certainly not a painter, uh, as is probably obvious. But uh, let's, uh, let's give it a try. We're just going to dip the chains in there and see what happens. Here we go. Well, my paint seems to be a little hard. So, uh, I guess I have to get rid of this lime on the top first. Now, it's not hard all the way down, so that's good. There you go, look at that. That was a surprise, wasn't expecting that. Just kind of lay that aside. Now I can actually get to the paint, I guess. Okay. Do you want to dip it all the way down in there? Like so. And of course the paint is congealing in the uh, slots for the chain. Hopefully that just drips off. If I had an agitator, uh, I suppose that would work. Where's my wife? I need a I need an agitator. Uh, okay, there. Hopefully, like I said, the paint actually drains out of the uh, slots on the chain itself. I don't know how this is going to work. I've never done this before, like I said. So we'll see. Uh, just going to kind of go ahead and. Fasten it. Maybe the foil will become artwork. I, I don't know. And I've already touched the paint. Lovely. Really thought I could do this without uh, getting any paint on myself, but apparently not. It does seem to be uh, leaving the uh, holes in the chain. We'll see. It'll sit there and drain, of course. Let's do the next one. All right, there we go, I think. Uh, that's going to do what I want, I think. It does seem to be draining out of the uh, slots slowly. Um, so we're going to let that sit there and drain and dry. Now, the washers. These that I had before were too big. So we have some smaller ones. I'm going to dip as well. Let's go ahead and dip these real quick. Set it on here, let it dry. There we go. I think, uh, I think I have succeeded at least in getting things covered, I hope. Looks like everything is covered well. You guys can see there. 
um, hopefully they'll dry okay. There's the uh, washers. They look pretty good. Nice thick coat. That's what I'm really looking for here is a nice thick coat with good coverage, right? So I think, I think I have uh, satisfied what I was looking to do. This one I may need to knock these two. Just pop that. Let's do that. Let's just pop that uh, film a little there. There we go. There. That's pretty good. go too crazy this one didn't have any that did that okay I think we're golden I think uh, I think I'm good anyway that is my attempt at dipping I'll call that paint dipping is that paint dipping I don't know but anyway we'll let that dry it's gonna be a couple of days then I'll come back on and we'll finish up uh, what has become a lengthier mod than I expected Okay, it's been days and days, maybe even a couple of weeks, I'm not sure. But everything is ready to go ahead and get these, the recovery boards, put on the Tacoma here. So let me let's set you guys up. Um, the chains are dry. You can see right here. Uh, we'll show you what those are going to be for uh, in a couple minutes. They're part of my security system. What I've got here is just a long bolt. Uh, with a black washer to go through the hole here. Okay, tighten this on, hopefully. And there, once we have that on, uh, it should be golden as far as uh, it's not going to fall off now, which is a good thing. So I need to put the other one on up here in the front. So. Go around to this side. This is always fun to kind of try to reach through here and do this. I'll probably climb up into the bed to do this side. Okay. We'll see how tight these stay. I may actually put some uh, blue Loctite on here just to hold everything kind of tight. Because again, I don't want to be going down the road and uh, have these things come off. I need to go ahead and uh, secure it. And by secure it, I'm talking about uh, keeping it uh, secured so that people can't steal it. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing here. Uh, the chain is so that I can padlock these things on. And I kind of wanted it to blend in. And I could put these in the front uh, so that maybe you couldn't see them at all. But I'm thinking maybe... Seeing them is not a bad idea, so that if there are any prying hands out there, they'll see that they're locked down before they try to do anything else. So I'm not really trying to hide it, uh, but I don't want it beaming out there either. So we're going to put it here on the back, I think. And the idea uh, is to go ahead and padlock it. I have uh, a padlock here. It's not the most substantial thing, but I firmly believe that uh, you're not going to stop people from taking anything if they want it bad enough. So it's a deterrent. Um, I put the chain through. You can see right here. And the idea is to have it locked right behind this post. So if I've got the chain the right length, I'm hoping, uh, that's what's going to happen. And I do have some play. Actually, and it is long enough, you can see there, but I do have some play in this too. I could slide it either way, so I could have brought it this way um, to bring the chain a little bit closer together if I actually needed to, but it doesn't appear that I do. So it's going to go just like that. Go ahead and lock it up, and that's how it's going to sit right there, just like it was made to go like that, right? And people will see that again if you have the right tools and enough. Uh, Courage, I guess you can try to go ahead and steal them. Uh, I don't know if it's worth stealing them, really. I mean, it's not like they're worth, you know, five grand or something. So that uh, that is my solution. The key will just put uh, with the keys to the truck so that I always have one. And then I'll put the other one with the spare uh, so that I can grab that when I want. So that's it. I think, again, I don't know if I need to put any Loctite on these bolts. 
Uh, to be honest with you, I loosened them um, so that I could slide the, the boards down a little bit because I had them too far and they were pretty darn tight. They were uh, fairly difficult to loosen by hand just the way that they are. So I'm going to try to leave them like that for now. We'll see what happens. If I notice uh, them loosening up, then I'll go ahead and put some blue Loctite on there or something. So let me bring you around. You can see the finished product. Probably had you way too high in the air there. There you go. That uh, That's what it looks like with the running boards on there. Again, not a perfect match, obviously, for the truck, but uh, pretty darn slick anyway, I think. And I might move these just a little bit this way, you know, trying to even them out on these posts here, if you will. You can see where that is as compared to where this one is. You know, it's it's not equal, but gee, does it really matter? You know, I don't think so. I don't think it does. So not really a big deal, but might do it anyway, just to uh, even them out a little bit. Anyway, that is the conclusion, finally. Um, I've been waiting for these things to dry well before I put them on, um, hopefully getting good adhesion. Uh, as you saw in the video, I just dipped them, so I hope it holds. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know what you think of my solution, uh, or if you have a better idea, something that you've done that actually works. There's a lot of theories out there, and I have my own. But in practice, eh, some are not so good. Uh, anyway, let me know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting right out there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.